Morning everyone, so it's currently coming up to 6am, uh, I'm just sitting in the car waiting to go into the Olympic pool because this is going to be my first of three swims this week. Now it's not currently my normal pool that I use, uh, my local pools are all shut because apparently there's a chlorine shortage and they've had to close them all because they haven't got any chemicals to put in the pool, hence me obviously being here to do the swim. So this workout is going to be a set of hundreds progressively getting quite harder on each set. Uh, I'll try and flick the work up on the screen so you can sort of see uh, what it is I'm, I'm doing but I feel that like my swimming is coming back. I've been in the pool now a couple of weeks. It certainly feels like I'm, I'm getting that back. I'm nowhere near as swim fit as what I was uh, you know prior to the summer but you know, it's not going to take long to get back, so I'm, not, I'm never worried about my swimming really. Now, I should have got up and done this swim yesterday morning, however, I couldn't get up. I couldn't get up. Oh, it was a struggle, so uh, hence me missing it and moving it today, which makes my day pretty long in terms of training because uh, later on I've got a little run to do. Now, I'm not going to go into the run too much, I'll talk a little bit about that because you probably know if you watched my last video, I am struggling with a small hamstring injury. So I'll, I'll talk through how I'm approaching running at the moment um, a little later on in the video. But yeah, uh, it also means I've got a strength session to fit in um, later on this evening. So it makes my day pretty long on top of trying to fit work in around everything. Bloody work gets in the way, doesn't it? So a big day. And if I'd have got up yesterday, yeah, today would have been a little bit lighter. So there we go, 2,400 meters of good quality work, all done in an Olympic pool before half past seven. And always like swimming in that pool, such a lovely pool to, to do your workouts in. Anyway, uh, that's session one of the day done. I'm off to work, and then I'll try and get my run in at lunchtime and then my strength this evening. May catch up with you then. Who knows where this video is going. Well, there we go guys that's Wednesday all finished for me that's my strength training all complete uh, just under 45 minutes worth of good quality work mainly lower body legs that kind of thing uh, and core on to tomorrow on to the next lot of training which I think is a bike workout I'm not sure if I'm going to take you along with these I don't know how this video is going I'm just kind of giving you a bit of a feel for uh, what my training is like at the moment so yeah <sighs> Welcome to Thursday's workout guys, Ooh, I will try and explain what this workout is during my uh, mini break, I've got 4 minute rest period but I've only got 10 more seconds before I hit the next interval, this is a toughie, so I'll catch up with you in that break. <laughs> Okay, I'm now on that mid interval break of four minutes. And this workout is tough. So what it is, is an aero, aerobic, work, uh, aerobic power workout. Uh, it's a 10 minute warm up, and then three quick short power bursts, separated by 45 seconds, and then a two minute, two minute recovery, and then we go into 17, uh, 17, 14. Oh, this is how much this ride is affecting me. 14 intervals uh, where I'm riding up uh, a set power up for a minute and a half of 45 second uh, breaks in between. And then sandwiched in between that, what I'm on now is my four minute uh, interval. Just at an easy 70 watts, just to spin the legs out before the next seven. It's a tough workout and this is the third time I've taken it on. And each week, Phil has made the uh, 
reps increase. So I started off at 10, uh, last week was 12, and then this week 14. Who knows what state I'll be in by the end of the last set, but it hurts. And it's one of those I feel that I just have to knuckle down and concentrate and get through it really. So I'm gonna switch off now. I'll catch up with you after the ride. Ooh. And I'm on the cool down. That was tough. I was hanging the last two reps there. Um, yeah. <laughs> but as you can see, there's all my stars, meaning I completed my workout. What is funny is when I did this workout after my break, my summer break, oh, I found it incredibly hard. Like 10 reps of it, I was hanging at the end. But you know what, even just doing this a couple of weeks, I can already see improvement in my fitness and things coming back. Because last week, I kind of knew what to expect, so mentally was a bit better prepared for that workout. And I just had to deal with an extra two reps, and I got through it pretty well. I was pretty pleased. Now today I wasn't sure with another extra two reps, but it was okay. And I'm pleased now. I'm getting back in the swing of things, particularly with cycling, and really work on this over the winter as well to improve again for next year. Okay, so let's head over to my Training Peaks account and I'll take you through my week of training. So, as you can see, this is my week laid out by my coach Phil. Um, and, well, what can I say other than you could probably see on there there's a fair bit of cycling and a fair bit of swimming. So, Monday, uh, a cycling session. Tuesday, just some light hamstring work to work on, on my injury and making the rehab uh, process go well again some swimming and then you can see a run um, and then that is my first of just two runs in the week and all I'm able to do at the moment is is around 30 minutes and, and we'll try and push that up to see if I can go to 45 on Saturday uh, but again uh, today Thursday I'm recording this as you can see tonight I've got my aerobic power uh, which is quite a hard session really um, so that's what I've got ahead of me tonight and then a swim tomorrow, another swim Saturday uh, some more hamstring work as you can see and then uh, on Sunday we've got the, uh, a couple of 20 minute blocks uh, uh, progressive power so that's kind of my week at the moment, you'll see very low on running and then that was kind of the week before again just building in uh, the running as well um, and that's the way it is going to be probably for the next couple of weeks until I can build up my leg, uh, which I am doing and I know that I'm making progress with that because to, uh, yesterday's run, I managed 32 minutes pain free, no problems with that. Um, so yeah, all good on that and we've just got to keep working on it, keep doing the hamstring exercises like I said and we should be good to up the running each week. So there you are guys, hopefully that's given you a little glimpse into what my training is like currently. I'm going to wrap this video up there, so uh, yeah, I will see you all probably next week. Mm -hmm.